guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to the Sugar Crystal Kitchen. This week's video is going to be on how to make these purple sweet potato Mont Blanc pastries. Mont Blanc originates from France and typically it is made of chestnut, but I am making a Japanese version of the pastry which is made from sweet potato. So let's get started. You want to begin by combining a quarter cup and two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two egg yolks, half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla bean or vanilla bean extract, and you just want to whisk this together until it becomes nice and fluffy. Once your egg yolk mixture looks nice and pale, you can add in your five tablespoons of softened unsalted butter and whip it into the mixture as well. For the dry ingredients, sift together three quarters of a cup and two tablespoons of cake flour, half a tablespoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Once all your dry ingredients are sifted, you can just dump it all into your egg yolk butter mixture and fold it through with your spatula. Once the dough is well combined like so, you want to just wrap it in some plastic wrap and then pop it into the fridge to set up so that it's not so soft when you work with it. Once you take out the dough, you want to flour your work surface and the dough as well as your rolling pin to make sure that nothing sticks. Once the dough is rolled out, you want to cut one and a half inch diameter circles with a cookie cutter or any other object you can find. I used a shot glass because that was the best option for me and you just want to cut out as many of these circles as possible. A good tip is to dip your cutter in some flour before cutting it so that it doesn't stick. After that, just place your discs of dough onto a parchment lined baking sheet and then you want to bake them off at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now for the purple sweet potato topping, you want to boil two purple sweet potatoes for about 20 to 30 minutes in some water until when you stick a fork in it, it feels soft and you can poke through it. It should look like this when it's done boiling. Be careful when you try to peel off the skin because it will be hot. And after you've peeled both of them, you want to just place them into a glass bowl and mash it well with your fork. This does take a while and a lot of elbow grease, but don't worry, it can count as your exercise for the day. And then you want to heat up two thirds of a cup of cream in the microwave. And then to your yams, you want to add in three tablespoons of granulated sugar, your heated cream, and just mix everything together until they are nice and smooth and well combined. Now comes the tedious part. You are going to have to pass all of this purple sweet potato mixture through a sieve to make sure there aren't such big lumps that will make it hard for you to pipe it. Now for the whipped cream, you want to whip together two thirds of a cup of heavy cream along with two tablespoons of granulated sugar and some vanilla. I used vanilla bean paste again and you want to whip it until it forms stiff peaks. And right after that, I transferred it into a Ziploc bag, snipped off the tip and piped little mounds of whipped cream onto our cooled tart bases. And then I placed the purple sweet potato mixture into a piping bag fitted with a tiny round tip and I just swirled around the whipped cream base over and over again until it covered all the whipped cream and then I garnished it with a fresh mint leaf to give it some contrast and color. And that's it. It's a pretty complicated recipe but it's definitely worth all the work that was put into it because it has such a nice crisp and crumbly tart base, the sable breton base, with the light and fluffy whipped cream center and the lovely dense purple sweet potato mixture on the outside. It's quite a delicate dessert and I hope you guys give this a try because you probably have never seen it before and are curious what it is and I'll tell you right now that it is absolutely amazing so definitely go try it and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed already please do and thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye guys!